Hello, I'm Dan Resnick from Pacific Northwest Urology, and today I'm going to be talking about a vitamin that may be putting you at an increased risk of kidney stone formation. Now, this vitamin is found in many healthy fruits and vegetables, including peppers, oranges, lemons, strawberries, kiwi fruit. In fact, it's an essential part of our diet. What vitamin am I referring to? Vitamin C. Am I saying that vitamin C from healthy fruits and vegetables is going to cause kidney stones? Absolutely not. However, certain supplements or massive doses of vitamin C have been proven to show or have been proven to cause kidney stones and in massive quantities even cause kidney failure or death. Now to talk about that a little bit more in depth, first of all we have to talk about what is vitamin C. Vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, is an essential water-soluble vitamin. We've known that it is an essential part of our diet since the early 1800s. In fact, at that time period, the British sailors were the first ones to understand that lack of vitamin C may lead to problems, specifically scurvy. The British soldiers supplemented their diet with citrus fruits to help prevent this on long voyages. The U.S. soldiers refer to them as limeys because of their citrus fruit supplementation. Scurvy itself is due to collagen synthesis deficiency. What role does vitamin C play in the body? Vitamin C plays many roles. In the case of scurvy, vitamin C deficiency leads to collagen synthesis problems. Vitamin C is also important in iron absorption. Increased doses of vitamin C increase the absorption of iron in your diet. It's also important in the production of dopamine to norepinephrine. And last, vitamin C is an important antioxidant. It helps scavenge free radicals within the body. It's been found to help boost the immune system. Vitamin C has many, many important roles. Interestingly, humans can't synthesize vitamin C as many other animals can. The gene is in our genome, however, there is a deletion that prevents it from being useful. This may have provided us some sort of benefit. We never know. All we know is that we have to get vitamin C from our diet. So, how does vitamin C contribute to kidney stone formation? In normal physiological doses, it does not. However, vitamin C, through the process of the metabolism of vitamin C, gets converted to oxalate. Oxalate combines with calcium in the urine to form calcium oxalate, the most common form of kidney stones in people. When we examine the oxalate in your urine, about 80% of the oxalate comes from your own metabolism or your body creating oxalate. About 20% comes from your food. The Journal of the American Medical Association several years ago also has a very important paper that demonstrated specifically that vitamin C supplementation may lead directly to kidney stone formation. In an observational study, men that were taking vitamin C at very high doses, 1,000 milligrams per day, doubled their risk of kidney stone formation during the trial period. Further, we have case reports of very high doses of vitamin C leading directly to kidney failure and in some cases death. Vitamin C was experimented with in very high doses of an IV formation to help treat some cancers. The evidence for that working has been very limited. However, its use has been picked up by some alternative medicine clinics and is still being given to patients today. These high IV doses of vitamin C can lead directly to oxalate crystal formation throughout the kidney, causing immediate kidney failure, requiring dialysis, and in some cases, death. It is very difficult to get these high doses of oxalate or vitamin C from your diet alone. However, supplementation with oral pills can lead to higher and higher vitamin C absorption. All it takes is a five-minute search on the internet to find many, many products containing massive doses of vitamin C. 
several of these products contain 1,000 milligrams a day. Taking one a day has been demonstrated in some men to double your risk of kidney stone formation. So in summary, vitamin C is an essential part of your diet. Lack of it can lead to serious medical consequences. On the flip side, too much of a good thing can be very, very detrimental. Taking too many vitamins can lead to kidney failure and death. Although it is a water-soluble vitamin, and most of the excess vitamin C simply gets urinated out as vitamin C, some of that gets absorbed, and the more and more you have absorbed, the more gets converted to oxalate. Oxalate crystallization with calcium can lead to kidney stones, and massive doses of this can completely block up the kidneys requiring dialysis. Hopefully this was educational, and if you liked it, please subscribe or click like below. In the next few weeks, I'd like to also get another video talking about other parts of your diet that may increase your risk of kidney stone formation.